A popular bug repellent marketed for kids is getting some major backlash. These are photos that a concerned parent sent us hoping to warn others. It's a new trend for the battle against mosquitoes, bracelets that you wear to prevent getting bit. Thanks for joining us tonight. Now, they're sold at many major stores across the country, but a local mom is saying be careful. She contacted our whistleblower hotline after her son had a major reaction. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Nicole Johnson shows us how to know if your child should try or should avoid them. Using social media to share their stories, a local mom picked up a mosquito repellent bracelet made by Bug Band for her son, thinking it was an easy fix. A couple hours later, she found this blistering. After warning her friends, others had similar stories. This is ridiculous, says one mom on Facebook, upset about the reaction her daughter had. She got a response from the company saying they'd pay for medical bills. We contacted the company ourselves and haven't heard back yet, so we showed a few of the pictures to dermatologist Mike Blankenship. Those look like a probably allergic contact dermatitis. He says everyone is different as far as who reacts like this and who would be fine using them. It's either to the plastics that the bracelets are made of or the accelerants that are used to make them or they're reacting to the, uh, the repellent chemicals themselves. He says it's hard to find out what's actually in these bracelets. They're just too new. I don't recommend it. I also don't um, strongly discourage it. And even if you don't react, Dr. Blankenship says Research shows, regardless of the brand, these bracelets aren't that effective anyway. His advice, going back to the old school bug spray, more effective and less risk. Nicole Johnson, Valley News Live. Bug band bracelets do have some warnings issued by the company. Warnings about children under three, the possibility of skin irritation and not to sleep with one on or it might make it too tight as well. Dr. Blankenship says that if you do have a reaction ointment and a band-aid, they should do the trick.